Dr. Ben Springgate is back with us this morning. He is our resident doctor over the past uh, three or four or five weeks, uh, answering some of your questions about the coronavirus. So let's get to our first viewer question. It says, I tested positive after being sick and quarantined for 14 days. I was tested again. Those results came back positive. How will I know when I no longer have the virus? That's a really great question, and it's a difficult one to answer, unfortunately, because in most instances, people are not being offered the test again and again to determine cure. We're mostly relying on the progression of, and the amount of time to pass. So in this particular instance, this person did get a second test after 14 days or at the 14-day point. Their test remained positive. Um, they should probably still continue to practice social distancing, stay at home, uh, wear a mask. And if they have access to another test, I would recommend considering it another 14 days. But I would, some people do retain the virus longer than others. I am not certain that any, you know, usual healthcare facility is going to be offering follow-up tests for cure. However, we simply have to anticipate that after a certain period of time, usually 14 days, but it can be longer that the virus will have passed. And that testing again is important. There was a story yesterday uh, out of South Korea that said 51 patients diagnosed as fully recovered from the coronavirus tested positive again a second time after leaving quarantine, according to authorities in South Korea. Does that surprise you? Right. Well, we don't know. I don't know the specific time frame of when they were tested again, but I do. It does, you know, point to an important consideration, which is there is variability in terms of after someone has their initial test, after they go into quarantine, what proportion of them are going to be completely virus free at that 14 day point. There is some evidence that's been previously published that it can extend even longer in some people. So I think we all just want to continue to be cautious, wear a mask once we come out of our quarantine, wash our hands very carefully on a frequent basis, and disinfect commonly touched surfaces to reduce any possible transmission risk. All right, our next question comes from a viewer. It says, if you have some underlying conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, or heart disease, should you avoid regular volunteer work at a food bank, even if the food bank is good about social distancing? Well, it's great that the food bank is good about social distancing. Um, I think it would be, you know, very um, relevant to consider your own personal risk tolerance in, in such a setting. You want to make sure that um, you're not putting yourself at undue risk. Um, so, uh, talk it over with the volunteer organizer at the food bank um, and and discuss, you know, what what you may feel to be appropriate for you. Everyone should, in theory, because of the CDC guidance, that everyone should be wearing masks right now. Everyone probably should be wearing masks in that environment. Everyone needs to be washing their hands frequently and disinfecting surfaces. You will be potentially at a higher risk if you have one of those conditions. So it's really something you have to think about if that's something that is absolutely critical for you to be doing or should you potentially be staying home instead. All right, Ben, thank you very much. We're coming up on 610. If you have more questions about the coronavirus, you can text them to us and the doctor will answer them. Text your questions to 504-529-4444.